such an amazing day. We were just talking how we were slated for Sky with Thunderstorms and we got a beautiful day and it's just been wonderful. But now would you please welcome along with me, Bedwin. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming by. I, ha I have to say, I just saw the saddest thing. I saw a bee come up to my fake flowers and, and <laughs> get really confused and fly away. But anyway, it's really I never good really to be met, have like so much time <laughs> thinking about the, the amount of disappointment you would feel as a bee to just would, see this huge flower. What if you bit into a plastic apple? That would be That's disappointing. Right. Yeah. It's like a giant salad made out of nylon. Yes. It's like, what is going on with this thing? That's yeah. exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so, um, well, we were just talking beforehand about this amazingly creative year you've had uh, touring, producing music, working on TV shows, and then also your first Tiny Desk concert. I know. Oh, here. I know. Yeah. So um, talk a little bit about how that was. That was a kind of, I was saying that was kind of a bucket list thing to do. And um, I'm really glad I was anticipating it for a long time nervously. So I'm glad I did it without, you know, putting my foot in my mouth or anything like that. So those are the kinds of things you think about when you anticipate, like, you know, hope I don't fudge this one up. Yeah. Um, so I'm really glad to have done it and feel really good about it. And be on the road, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm taking to it much better than I thought I would. Mm -hmm. And you, you've been supporting a lot of great acts, like Waxahachie. I think you're mm -hmm. going to be joining Kevin on the yeah. road here. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, so I've been lucky to be able to just hop on to other people's things, their other people's routes, because um, I'm touring by myself, which is, has some pros and cons, but for the most part, staying light on your feet allows you to just, like just join somebody else's situation and just be in their van you know kind of be taken care of that in that respect yeah which is an which is cushy and comfortable in its own way mm -hmm. yeah. and new music you've been working on like what's been oh, kind of yeah. feeding into that right now so i i've had the luxury of having a lot of time before my first record was out so i amassed so many songs um and I imagine some of them will go, that didn't make this record, will go towards the next one. But I also just write intermittently. And and you had like 30, am I right? Is that yeah. 30 songs you recorded? Yeah, And only exactly. about a third of that came out on the outside? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'd been chipping away at the record for like three years on our free time, me and mm. my producer, Gus. Um, and so when the time came that somebody put an actual record deal on the table, we had we could cherry pick mm -hmm. our favorites. And so that worked to our advantage and it makes me a little nervous that I don't get that same luxury for the next record. Yeah. But I've had a lot of time to think about it and I have a roadmap to the next record. So uh -huh. I'm really excited. Our time is a little bit more limited, but we have two nice windows where we'll really like focus. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what's your kind of aim in terms of uh, having the studio work done and then out into the public? What are you? I'm thinking early 2019. Mm -hmm. So we'll get back in the studio about mid-July and uh, late September, have it mixed in December, and then it's going to be kind of a race to just get it manufactured and all that good stuff. Sure, and sure. So hopefully, I don't know, maybe March or April in 2019. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, the remaining 20-ish songs from that first project, are they going to see the light of day in a new co context mm -hmm. there or just as their own? Maybe thing? not all of them. The th maybe the ones that I've I've still been really interested in, yeah. that I've, I've still practiced from time to time, and the ones I'm still excited about, yeah. and the ones that fit in the context of the newer songs I've written more or less with this next album in mind. Yeah. So it's a, it's a combination of um, the songs I've been writing towards the record and the songs that fit in with them and just make sense in the rough theme. Not It's not a concept album by any means, but, you know, you kind of gradually develop a, some cohesion. So. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I think it's a good segue for some music. So All right. again, please welcome Bedwin. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I hope you're not bored if you've come back to see me. I'm going to start with one of my favorite songs to play. It's called One of These Days. Thanks. Always looking for your next climb, the things I want don't take time on my knee, honey, you can 
at it one of these days one of these days i love big nights we're gonna get it and get it right one of these days if i'm talking sweet to you you know i'd like to hear it too it's funny honey to think it's a passing phase but if I feel alone in the morning do start to see new shades of blue One of these days You know I'm gonna set our hearts ablaze If it's my last living deal If I feel I love and fade you may as well Turn the blade it's running the honey in my mouth I know for days but Robin's singing the same old song And I ain't doing nothing wrong One of these days You know I'm gonna set our hearts ablaze If it's the last thing I do One of these days You know I'm gonna set our hearts ablaze If it's the last thing I do If it's true that I feel more for you than you do for me It's stunning, honey, how love has some delays Cause one of these days our love takes flight We're gonna get it and get it right One of these days Thank you. Um, so, I think I'll play, maybe I'll play Dusty Eyes. If anybody has requests, you can shout them out too. All right, great. <laughs> that works out, thank you. You're dusty, you're dusty. Eyes. They leave me pale and wondering Have I swam too far this time To make it back on my dime The city lights, the lampposts burn the night, but they don't come close. No, they don't come close. about all I've given to you but it's all the same yeah it's all the same when you're high yeah you could have been some other guy you could have been some other guy
about you now The way that I feel about you now Oh, the way that I feel about you now 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 Oh, the way that I feel about you now The way that I feel about you now Thank you. Um, so I think I'm going to play a song called Skyline next. This is the closest I'll get to a rap song, I think. Everybody calling me today wasn't you. Guess I must be hanging out here in the blue by my lonesome. Babe, I wish you'd phone some. Alone on a train, I'm as free as a bird But out there in the world, it's like you're in the earth May not be the first, and I'm sure not the last I got a craving for a thing of the past And it's hitting me hard I don't know why I could be bored The Santa Ana's blowing and it's calming me down But it's like you're in the air as I get in the town when we were young, did we know the difference? I can't recall the weight of my words And we're both older now, hanging our heads to the ground But you're still in my skyline and I think I'm in yours I grew a garden for the both of us Turned into weeds and dirt and dust I tried but I knew Couldn't stay there for you I'm pushing down the line And no matter my will It just wouldn't bend And I couldn't stand still I may be slowing down With a heavier heart But you don't want me Dragging you into the dark When we were young Did we know the difference? I can't recall the weight of my words And we're both older now Hanging our heads to the ground But you're still in my skyline And I think I'm in yours You're still in my skyline And I 